Welcome to Little Buy Them once more. You will have seen this layout on one or two DVDs and certainly in BRM, but we're here today for a very specific reason. And that reason is to show you in action Hornby's magnificent new P21 Cock of the North. It really is outstanding and at a price which is really, well, unbeatable. Anyway, here she is in 1934-1935 condition, brand new. Now I don't have any, any LNER coaches so you'll have to bear with me because at the moment she's on a Pullman train but later on you'll see just what this brute can actually pull. Here she is in the flesh and I've conducted a complete and thorough review in the December issue of BRM where I've given this outstanding locomotive a most thorough examination. Now obviously I can't show you everything just in a few minutes. Um, the big gap between the loco and tender I'm afraid is necessary to go around curves even though I have fairly generous curves but maybe somebody can fiddle with that, a modeler perhaps. Enough of my waffle, you don't want to hear me. What we're going to present for you now is this superb locomotive in action. You'll see her taking 10 Pullman cars, but watch out in a few minutes. We'll show you just what this brute, and I use that term as a compliment, can do. Just by way of an historical comparison, this is what Cock of the North looked like when she was built in 1934. But 10 years later, or slightly less than 10 years later, she was changed into something like this. Now this is a Thompson Pacific, and anybody who knows about Mr. Thompson knows that, um, well, he's not entirely revered, but a magnificent creation turned into a rather ungainly Pacific. That's obviously RTR. This is one I kept built from a DJH product. But you'll see both of these in a few minutes in comparison where reality is modelled absolutely. You'll see what I mean when this takes a train and this tries to take the same train, even though this one is heavier. It is outstanding, of that there is no doubt. That there are a few pragmatic compromises, I don't think there can be any other than a pragmatic compromise. To me, it doesn't matter, because you'd have seen this doing what a P2 really did, shifting huge loads with ease. I recommend it. 